Hello, my name is Professor Dover, and I will be your host for Gay City TV's episode, What's Right with Gays These Days. You know, often when people talk about the LGBT community, they always focus on the negative. They always focus on the drugs, promiscuity, alcoholism, uh, predation, uh, that there's no respect for the sanctity of marriage. You know, and I thought, wait a minute, isn't there a place called Las Vegas? So, as the responsible scholar that I am, I decided to take matters into my own hands and went looking for the gays. I left no stone unturned, and I put the participants through a rigorous screening process. You know, when we ask our participants, what's right with you? It's very interesting to see the kind of demeanor around the question. Oftentimes they were confused about the question. Huh? More often than not, we don't ask ourselves that question because in a way, our society doesn't allow us to ask ourselves this question. Our quest to find the answer to what's right with gays these days took us deep into the community where we found people who are actually doing work that extends beyond the boundaries of our community. This notion of intersectionality is very interesting because it helps demystify all of this that we see here. It also helps against this. Interesting that our allies come to our defense when we need them. So what's right with gays these days? Let's let the people in the community tell ya. I don't think people like to focus on the right. They like to focus on the bad. You do? Is that what you just said? Um, myself, I'm sure other people in general, just like, we were actually talking about this the other day because we were talking about, um, how everybody, we were at the beach, and we are talking about how everybody feels like, oh, there's this wrong with me, or like, my friend's like, I'm fat, or my other friend's like, I have this piece of skin on my leg. It's just like, we're always looking at the bad that we don't really notice the good, or it just feels, kind of sounds like we're fishing for compliments at some points, because we're always talking about it. Yeah, nobody ever really focuses on what's, good about themselves, a lot of people just kind of focus on what is wrong with them. Well, I mean, I don't think that the things that I pride myself in are necessarily linked to my sexuality at all. So, I mean, other than compassion and understanding and, you know, being able to look at indifference and try and correct it, you know, accepting people for who they are. Um, one thing that I've always done is, you know, everyone is always on this kick. You have to earn my trust. And I've never ever been that way. If you meet me, you get 100% of my trust until you prove to me that you can't have it. So, I mean, I think that's one of the things about my personality that I would consider is the most right. I like myself now. I haven't always been here, you know? Um, and it's not like, oh, I look in the mirror and it's like, oh, you're so fucking hot. It's not like that, but I like who I am. I like, I like, uh, I like my approach to things. I've worked really hard to, to be honest. I've worked really hard at, um, not being driven by fear, you know. Um, truthfully, just being me. Just, I love, I mean, I, I've gotten to the point I love being trans. I mean, there's been times in my life when it hasn't been the greatest thing in the world. You know, when you get overlooked for, you know, positions or, you know, or even jobs, period. That's probably the hardest part, but as far as relationships, I don't know, I just like being me. I like my life. I mean, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I mean, it doesn't take... It obviously doesn't take balls to do it. <laughs> being transgendered in society still, it's kind of like being, I don't know, in the public eye. I mean, you can't go anywhere without somebody either coming up to you and wanting to talk to you uh, I told this to a friend of mine who I met recently, and they were like, oh, no, I don't think that really happened. 
and we went to Applebee's and I walk into Applebee's and some drunk lady comes up and don't even know her she comes up and starts hugging me and then invites me to her wedding that Saturday and had no clue who this was and she's hugging me kissing me and I always wear these little scrunchies on my wrist and she pulled it off my wrist and put it in her hair and ended up she said, you can't get it back till you come to my wedding. So she was either just very intrigued by me or she was actually a scrunchy pickpocket. I don't know. But one of the two, she ended up getting a scrunchie out of the deal. <laughs> I think everything is right with me. <laughs> Not to be like conceited, but uh, or I don't want it to sound conceited or anything, but yeah, you're right. A lot of people, you know, we hear what's wrong with me, what's wrong with me. Um, there's really nothing wrong at all. I think it's, you know, all those things that we say that is wrong with us, it's just made up stories that we create about ourselves. You know, if we really look in the mirror and look at ourselves and do a little soul searching, um, you'll find that everything is right with us and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the way we are, whether we're, you know, gay, straight, bisexual, transgendered, whatever we are, there's absolutely nothing wrong with us. Um, what's right with me today is I smile a lot, I love to have fun. Um, I love talking to strangers, you know, and you know, making their day. If I can give them a hug, um, I don't. I don't know. I don't think I can think of anything that isn't right with me. You know, even if I'm having a bad day, it's probably the right situation for me. <laughs> Thank you guys. That was awesome. <laughs>